Hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. Um, yeah, so I've been planning to do this video uh, for a couple weeks now. Basically, I found out that one of my videos is corrupted. It won't play halfway or after ha the halfway mark. So it's gonna be the video on my torch setups and I also did my parents' uh, AC install on that one. Um, where I showed the Eryx uh, outlet for the outside uh, where the lines penetrate. Uh, if you guys wanna go see half of it, I'll leave the link or the card. Um, so, you know, somewhere. So uh, if you wanna go watch it, you can. Uh, like I said, it only plays halfway through. We actually won, I know it's not the best install, whatever, like it wasn't judged and I already gave my, uh, my pick on the winner, there was some really good ones in there, but it was just based on who got more votes and everybody pulled through for 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 me and I'm super grateful and I won that uh, competition. So I did get first place on that one for that install. Some people thought it was lame. Majority thought it was, you know, majority were positive. So thankful for that. And I appreciate it. anybody who voted on that. I know I kept spamming my Instagram for it and it paid off, I got I got first place. Uh, I'll show more of their uh, outlets if I get those in soon. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to get them in. But anyway, uh, the video was corrupted. Uh, HVAC guy actually uh, messaged me about torches. And I was trying to link him the video. That's when I found out that I couldn't play it. So he said he got to, to watch it, I don't know. But that got me thinking I should probably, uh, I can't, re-upload it because unfortunately the uh, external hard drive that I had first when I had my videos are up to that point uh, it crashed so I don't have those I don't I can't even re-upload that footage um, so I'm gonna have to film it again but I'm gonna do a condensed version and I'm gonna go through um, rapid fire on the setups that I've had because a lot of guys gave me a lot of feedback that it helped them and they took some of the ideas for their loadouts and it helped a lot. So uh, that's why I'm doing the video again, just so it's out there because the original one cuts off. Uh, right now I'm going to the warehouse to pick up uh, some parts. So right now I'm gonna get down, show you real quick what I have and the setup and we'll get get it over with and you'll have we'll have the video out again, so. All right, so I'm just gonna show you my current setup instead of like building up to it. We'll just start off with what I have. This is my little brazing wall right here. Torch and everything I need for brazing. And it's all conveniently here for a grab and go uh, setup. <clears throat> so I got the torches here. One of the things that I had done to these is put magnets. So these are from uh, Harbor Freight. They're I believe 90 pound magnets. It sticks on there and it never goes anywhere so I come in I just throw it there and it's it's already secured and that's also thanks to David a subscriber who had commented throw some magnets on your torches and you know I love the setup just put it on take it when you go um, that worked out really good I had <clears throat> them in the middle at first and then I moved them out for my pack out so I do have a pack out that goes on here that I'll show you right now. Uh, these are like cleats to mount pack outs. So I have all of these here that I just screwed on. And uh, Cam Aerotech had sent me these originally to mount uh, this over here. So he gave me the holder for my refrigeration technology products that I carry. So we got all these, right? So it was to mount them in the van. And then I was like, you know what? I had an idea to put them on the torch kit based off of his uh, turbo torch setup. Put one on the side, grab my pack out. And we got that on there. And this is what I've been using for a while now, for a few months. And I love it. So this is optional if I don't need this stuff, but more than likely 
I do need the wet rag to protect valves, and then I'm, I've been trying out this stuff. And then I use the brush on one to check just my joints. I do use this when I'm leak checking. But for stuff that I soldered, I just use the brush on. This fits on there with the magnets. And this is probably low on stuff, but <clears throat> I got elbows in there, tees, uh, swivel tees, some stems that I need to get more of, the little Schrader cores, extra tips, little pieces of rods there, tubing cutters, which I'm missing one, a uh, mirror, reamer, giant tubing cutter, some extra solder there, a cool little flashlight with a mirror on it, which telescopes, and it's magnetic. So, there's all that that goes in here. So that fits there. I have everything I need. Striker goes there. Uh, this canister too from camera that he uh, gave me the magnets and put them on for me. So I use that to carry extra rods in different sizes. That goes on there too. I got an extra canister here with magnets that he also helped me with. That goes there. When I'm gonna put this away, I have another cleat there. One will hold it. This goes on the pack out itself. And I'm done. I can get back in the van or load up other stuff. That's all put together in seconds. This I basically got from Camera Tech, his idea completely. This is just something I copied because I wasn't using a uh, turbo torch before, so now I am. Basically, got the nudge from him because he did this cool setup. So, this is a uh, tank holder that fits my acetylene. This is that piece that holds the uh, pack out. And I just added magnets because I wanted it to be stored away right here on my toolbox. We set it up there. It has not fallen over whatsoever, uh, neither one. So they store well. These uh, tough built tool pouches have been cool. I use one for when I want to carry just like a screwdriver and a meter or something. So then this one holds a striker. I got an extra mirror in there and it holsters my torch there. So that's going to be hold on, held on with the magnet too just to make it easier when I gotta swap out the tank, you know? So it just, it just comes off quickly. Unscrew the hose, the hose is held by these clamps that I love. Uh, cable cuff, they're at Home Depot where you can check my tool link if you wanna order some. Strap there just in case I need it. And like I said, that's a pack out holder, so we can do the pack out on this as well. And then that's the handle, essentially. So you take it out and you got your uh, turbo torch. If I need these, put it on there. It does not tip over. And I'm really enjoying the turbo torch now, especially with this setup, because it was no easy way to carry this and a lot of holders are super expensive. This was relatively uh, cheap. Packout's not that bad either. Cam was uh, selling these, I think. And then when I'm done, take it off. Hook it in place, it's put away. This just goes back. And that's it. I know a lot of you guys liked uh, the ideas I had. That's why I'm doing the video again, since the old one is not working. That way, if you guys wanna, you know, 
take inspiration from anything, make it your own, you can do that. And I forgot to mention on this setup, uh, you know, holster on one side, pack out and everything on the other side. I need rods. So the rods are in here. They're going to be like used rods, basically, like half rods. So they don't go to waste. I put them in here and then I can stick that on there. And that is actually the full setup there. Not too bad i know it looks like a lot but it's a lot easier than taking everything one by one and uh it's all with this handle i can bring it up everything's stored nicely and that's everything i need to make uh repairs on brazing or if i got to braze any part in this is everything i need so that's the turbo torch setup i have been enjoying it i plan on getting more tips and i can uh, store them you know at least one other one there's a couple of pockets I'm not using so that's the plan on that one and if you buy a Navac pump this is the bag you get so I also had uh, the pump in there because it's kind of light and I didn't have the charger in here but I had um, all the stuff on the outside pockets and you can fill it up with everything you need for brazing. And that worked too. I had my vacuum hoses in here with the vacuum, everything I needed to vacuum the system. And then I had like uh, mirrors, strikers, everything else here. So I could just grab this and do my brazing and my vacuum. So there's that. <laughs> And if you're looking for something similar, you can get something at Lowe's. I have this tool bag that's basically the same as this one. It did come with a strap too. I just don't have it on it. That's just to carry some uh, bigger hammers and stuff that I don't put away. They're just thrown in the bag there. So, you know, that's another setup that I had there. And some honorable mentions that I know a lot of you guys have used before too. Uh, the first setup, I actually forced on a carabiner right there. And I had one of these. So now I use it for my filming stuff. I have my tripod and stuff in here. But um, it could hold essentials like tubing cutters, mirrors, um, little things. So now I just like clip it on there. And that's what I was using for a good while when I first started. So I had those better if I had the Vito ones but these are just from Lowe's uh, this one I had for a long time and I really enjoyed it so I know some other guys have told me that they use it or they mentioned me um, when they have it so this is a field piece bag when you get your uh, probes I never liked carrying my probes separately I carry everything uh, you know with me right there so I had no use for this bag but it's a really nice bag so what fits in here is like uh, the, the wet rag fits really nice in here. The little container for it. Strikers, tubing cutters, you know, what have you. If you guys need flux with your uh, solder. Mirrors, everything fits nicely in here. You just like stick them, stick them in. They, they stand up, close it up, and you just take it with you. So I would just take my torches and grab this, and I was good to go. I've seen a lot of guys do that now. So there's that. That's a good one uh, also. All right, guys, so that's what I have. That's what I use. I love it. I hope it helps. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. I got some more stuff coming out pretty soon. I was going to take, it's right now, it's the holidays. Hope, I hope all of you guys are enjoying your holidays. I feel like I'm more tired uh, during the holidays, though. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying. I wasn't going to post anything. Uh, until after the holidays so i do have some videos lined up for you guys uh the only reason i like i said i posted this is because i've been putting off putting it off for a couple of weeks after i found out about the video not working so i just wanted to get it out there so this this will be the video for this week and then i'll have some more uh after the holidays after new year's so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys so who wants to see a van tour?
to be like 1.2. I've done one. Uh, it's changed ever so slightly, but I'm planning to overhaul my van uh, drastically. So I don't know, maybe we should do one last uh, update tour on the van because I did make some changes to it and everything's everything's pretty good. Like, I like the way it is, but I want to try a new system out for how I want to handle like certain calls and I'm a big, I'm a big like modular grab and go um, interchangeable type of person as far as like how I want to carry things. So I want to make sure, especially because I, I move from van to van sometimes. And sometimes every couple years I get a new van. So like, I don't like making things permanent or I don't like having like a mess in my van. So everything is usually easily uh, removed somewhat, but I want to improve on that and I want to try a new system. So if you guys want a van tour, let me know. I do want to try something, but maybe I can show you uh, the upgrades I've done first before I like completely turn it upside down. Cause that's going to take a while for me to get what I want done. I have a lot of ideas. So um, yeah, if you guys want that, I think my last video did pretty good. The van tour, a lot of people liked it. Maybe we'll do it again. Like I said, a 1.2 and then like when I finish everything, it'll be like a new version and I'll give you guys an update on that one.